If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Share it with a friend and I'll be doing more videos like this just for you. Before starting your learning process, it is important to check how familiar you are with the concept on the theory of plate tectonics. So, we are going to have our pre-assessment time. Let's put your knowledge to the test. Are you ready? Very good! For the direction, the questions will be flashed for 10 seconds. Be sure to give the correct answer for each question. For our quiz categories are yes or no, multiple choice, true or false, and fill in the blanks. Yes or no question number one. Mohorovicic discontinuity is not a sublayer of the mantle. Yes or no. Correct answer is yes. Mohorovic discontinuity is usually referred to as the moho. It's the boundary between the Earth's crust and the mantle. Yes or no? Question 2. Earth's lithosphere is made up of continental crust and oceanic crust. Yes or no? You are right. It's no. Earth's lithosphere is made up of the brittle crust and the top part of the upper mantle. Yes or no? Question 3. The theory states that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into segments called plates. It's called seafloor spreading theory. Yes or no? Very good! It's no! Plate tectonics is the theory that states the Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle, the rocky inner layer above the core. Yes or no? Question 4. Earthquakes rarely occur in the middle of a plate. Yes or no? Definitely, it's yes. Earthquakes rarely occur in the middle of plates because these areas are relatively weak compared to the surrounding plate and can easily slip and cause an earthquake, but they can happen when ancient folds or reefs far below the surface reactivate. True or false? Question 5. There are four main or primary tectonic plates. And these plates are named after the landforms found on them. True or false? You are right! It's false! There are seven main or primary tectonic plates. These are the African Plate, Antarctic Plate, Eurasian Plate, Indo-Australian Plate, North American Plate, Pacific Plate, and South American Plate. True or false question 6. Volcanoes, earthquakes, and mountain ranges can all be found at the site of plate boundaries, specifically at convergent boundaries. True or false? That is right! The correct answer is true. Plate boundaries are the edges where two plates meet. Most geologic activities including volcanoes, earthquakes, and mountain building takes place at plate boundaries. True or false question 7. Philippine plate is an example of minor tectonic plate. True or false? That is true. Some of the minor plates include the Arabian, Caribbean, Nazca, Philippine Sea Plates, and the Scotia Plates. True or false question 8. Eurasian Plate is tectonic plates includes majority of the land masses of the Southeast Asian nation. True or false? That is true. 
very good. It's true. The Eurasian plate is a tectonic plate which includes most of the continent of Eurasia, a landmass consisting of traditional continents of Europe and Asia. Multiple choice question 9. The asthenosphere sublayer of the mantle is said to have some plasticity. What does plasticity mean? A. Materials in this layer are partially melted and flow like a fluid. B. Organic substances compose the majority of this layer. C. The temperature of this layer is cooler than those above it. And D. This layer is very rigid and does not flow or move. Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Materials in this layer are partially melted and flow like a fluid. Multiple choice question 10. Which plate tectonic boundary is nearest to the Philippines? A. Australian plate B. Eurasian plate C. North American and D. Pacific plate You are right. The correct answer is letter D, Pacific Plate. Multiple choice question 11. Which of the following is not a basis for identifying where the boundaries between tectonic plates lie? A. Location of volcanoes. B. Where mountain ranges are located. C. Distribution of earthquake epicenters. And D. Temperature difference on Earth's surface. Perfect! The correct answer is letter D. Temperature difference on Earth's surface. Multiple choice question 12. What can be inferred about the Philippine base on its location in relation to the tectonic plates? A. There are lots of earthquakes and volcanism. B. There is very minimal earthquakes and volcanism. C. There is very minimal earthquakes and volcanism. And D. There are lots of volcanism but minimal earthquakes. You got it right! The correct answer is letter A. There are a lot of earthquakes and volcanism. Multiple choice question 13. Which small tectonic plate is located directly below the South American plate on the map? A. Cocos Plate B. Caribbean Plate C. Indian Plate and D. Scotia Plate You are right! The correct answer is letter A. Cocos Plate Fill in the blanks question 14. There are 22 active volcanoes in the Philippines. Australia, on the other hand, has none. Why is this the case? Is it because the Philippines blank while Australia blank? Absolutely right. It is because the Philippines is near a plate boundary while Australia is at the center of a tectonic plate. Fill in the blanks question 15. The type of plate boundary that is formed between the Philippine plate and the Eurasian plate is called blank. You got it right! The type of plate boundary that is formed between the Philippine plate and the Eurasian plate is called convergent plate boundary. If you got 11 points out of 15, that means you passed the pre-assessment test and you're ready for our next discussion. 
but for those who didn't make it, you can still go over with the activity again. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and if you're new in this channel, click subscribe to be notified with more videos like this. See you on my next video. Goodbye!